Hi, I'm Doma Guyardi. Welcome to 14 Day Pilot Flight Academy. Today, I want to share about the wind correction angle and the wind component. Um, I have one case when I was flew from um, Bangkok to Singapore. I fly at well, 1,000 feet and uh, I got 22 knots crosswind. It's very challenging. Then I flew instrument. So this video is very helpful for everyone with plan to take their instrument rating. So I believe you're already familiar with this book, Instrument Flight Handbook from the MA. It's a very great book, everything is plain here. But in this video, you will learn very easy tips and how to deal with that crosswind, how to compensate your wind, and how to deal with the autopilot. At that time, I flew a Diamond DA20 with the electronic flight display. Um, and I use autopilot during my flight, but I still have to calculate my wind correction angle to deal with that crosswind. So enjoy the video and hopefully you can get more knowledge on the wind stuff for your instrument rating. Okay, now I will make a, give you some quick tutorial about the crosswind and how we track your road during the crosswind, okay? So let's take a look to my instrument panel here. If you learn about the wind component, you will learn about the wind correction angle. And you will never see if you never fly with a very high altitude and with wind, very strong wind aloft. And now I will share to you some very interesting things. As you can see that the wind comes from my right side over there and the wind speed is 263 at 22 knots. It means it's really straight and it's frontal crosswind. There's no wind component at all. It's like maybe one knot wind component, but you exactly have 22 knots wind. Okay, wow. Well, you can see here, we have to fly on bond of radial 158 from uh, the latest VOR. But as you see, our heading is 189er. So how we find 189er, 169er, and now 170 is very important to you. This is the exact real-world example about the wind correction angle. So as you see, that now the wind is 23 knots from 255 on the right side. And you apply heading 171 to maintain this green line, which is, this is the CDI, on the center of your airplane. So it looks like you fly farther away from this green line. Okay. okay, as you can see that we are flying at the green CDI, of course, the aviation indicator, of course. And it looks like the heading of this miniature airplane is toward to out of the green CDI. So this, this happened because you will compensate of 20 knots wind here. That's why you're not flying heading 158, so you're flying heading 168. So it means the computer calculates you got like 10 degrees wind correction angle to the right. And with this wind correction angle, let's say 168, you will maintain this track. So it we call like a crabbing flight to maintain the course. So if I move the course, you can see the CDI moving, right? So we should put at the 158. But if you move the heading, let me disengage the heading select here. Let's say you are now heading to 158, okay? And with the wind of 15 knots or 20 knots crosswind, what you will get is you will be very inaccurate and soon offset from the heading. And you will see the green line of CDI is starting to moving out of your airplane. Initially, you will see that it looks like right, uh, the, the green upstairs, um, the green line and your miniature airplane is looks like in the same direction but the wind component must be calculated because now you got like 17 h knots from your right side so in the long term this green will move to the right why because you are moving to the left 
Why? Because you got like 17 wins. Contact Radar 125 today. Contact Looper Radar 125 815 Share. Good day. Kuala Lumpur Radar, Assalamu Malaikum, November 815, Papa Shira, Alpha Level 1, Mas Shira with you. Hello, it's 15, Papa Shira, Lampu Radar, Papa Skoki 0751. Roger 0751, Level 110, 815, Papa Shira. 815, Papa Shira, Lampu Radar, Tifat, maintain 1000 feet, Kianage 1007. Maintain flight level 1, Mas Shira, Kianage 1007, November 815, Papa Shira. So, formally into 561, good afternoon. Line the pass is well operator, good afternoon, climb flight level 270. Climb flight level 270, Monday 561. And as you can see, the green, the green CDI is not moving to the right. It is because you are moving to the left. You are not being compensated by this wind. Okay? You can see the wind is still like 251 at 22 knots. Meanwhile, you are not adjusted and you see the green CDI is moving to the right. So, what you have to do now is you are heading to the right. That says 10 degrees. Okay, then it looks like you are fly, uh, fly to the right of the course, but this will be the correct heading okay. because you got 25 pins now so I fly with the autopilot with the heading select here and I will set the GPS menu so it will automatically calculate what is your uh, heading correction angle to capture uh, the line so before that I will make a direct flight to EPK and it reset and see here our heading now is 186 to compensate the 20 knots crosswind and suddenly we are at the center of the green CDI Okay, so, that, so that's the real word of the, the wind component angle story. You have to compensate all the crosswind, all the headwinds to get the correct destinations, uh, correct track to your air route. So this is very important. Maybe if you fly visual, your checkpoint will be like a mountain or the road or something. But if you fly instrument, your reference point will be your uh, if you are post deviation indicator, if you are using horizontal situation indicator. Okay, so now you already got the idea of calculating the WCA.